she told me, she said, Lee, I had a glass of champagne during intermission. <laughs> so I was, I nearly died. I thought, oh my God. One of my most favorite memories as the director of the Quinsac Ballet was my very first program of the very first season in 2013. We danced Giselle, and we had three casts of the Giselle, a plus a and a study cast. So I thought that was enough for the season. And suddenly on the opening night, during the intermission, I was pulled aside uh, by my staff says, our Giselle is injured. She can't go on to the act two. So I had to pull the second cast, which was Rachel Walsh, and who was actually in the audience, pull her away from said, you are on for act two. Not long into the season, Rachel was injured of a fluke injury. And then we put out, we have a third cast on, which was uh, Claire Marheim, and she got injured. Suddenly we got, luckily we got the anesthetic study cast, which was Lisa Edward, and she got injured. And suddenly we ran out of Giselle. We got one more performance to go. So, so we, uh, we were so desperate. And then we had to get one of our talented dancer called Eleanor Freeman to fast track her and taught her uh, the whole role, which she didn't understudy or learn it at all but it was the most incredible thing on the last performance. She uh, was on stage, didn't know really the role, where she should be in all that choreography, etc. cetera. Uh, but she was very instinctive. She was a beautiful artist. And we had two injured ballerinas on both sides of the stage on crutches, telling her what to do, whispering the instructions to her. And in the meantime, not only I was petrified, so nervous in the audience, and clutching onto my wife Mary's hands, uh, and. Uh, but we, at one stage, I look at, at her, we both had enormous amount of tears with joy, with emotions, with this huge admiration for what character, um, not only Eleanor, but the company as a whole demonstrated in my very first program of the very first season. It's a memory I will never, never forget or would always treasure.